Have you ever seen an advertisement for a car or something like that? And you go to check out what the details are on it, right? It's got it listed at a certain price. And you get there, and it costs more. The price isn't the same, right? It's a bait and switch. Well, today I want to talk to you about how Lyft is baiting and switching drivers with scheduled pickups. Hey, my name is John from Ride Upstate, and I just want to share this with you because it got me very, very upset. Take a look here at this screenshot that I have. Seven to nine dollars for this trip, and it's pretty short, and it's close to my house. It's between 8, 8 and 8.30 or something like that, and it looks like a, a, a reasonable trip for a reasonable number of miles. You know ahead of time where you're going, and theoretically, you know how much you're getting paid. Now take a look at this screenshot. This is the actual payout from that trip. Doesn't match up, does it? So I spent close to 20 hours chatting with support, trying to get this figured out and saying to them, look, you're showing an estimate for this trip at this price. You know the distance. Why are you showing the estimate at seven to nine dollars when it's not even five dollars? It's deceptive, it's lying, and it's a bait and switch. And so far, the only responses I've got have been, well, you were compensated based on your rate card. And my response has always been, I understand that. I understand that I was compensated based on my rate card. However, you offered the ride to me at anywhere between 15 and 50% more. You're paying me significantly less. And if it's happening to me, it must be happening to other drivers too, which means that all over the US and any other countries where Lyft is present, they are offering scheduled pickups to drivers at one advertised price and paying them significantly less. Now here's the kicker on this. So I got 463 for this trip. I asked the passenger and he shared with me that he pays anywhere between 13 and $16 for this trip, which means on average, Lyft is keeping $10 of that trip. So they're keeping a good two thirds of the money that the customer pays. And I'm getting about 30% of that. That is unfair. That is ridiculous. Many of these rideshare companies are wondering why drivers aren't coming back, why they don't have enough drivers. And it's because of antics like this. Drivers stop driving and realize that, why do I want to put myself through this? Why do I want to continue to drive and get tricked by these platforms into doing work at less than minimum wage? So here's what I would say to you. Keep an eye on these scheduled pickups. If you get scheduled pickups, make sure you are getting paid exactly what the estimate is. And if you are not, contact support and start complaining. Make sure that these companies know that this is not acceptable. So if this has happened to you, let me know in the comments below. I'd like to see it. You can also send me screenshots to back that up. I'm on Instagram at Ride Upstate. My name is John from Ride Upstate, reminding you that just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits. Bye.